What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're back at it, we're doing our final Black Spindle mission, this time we're taking in the Titan. We're going to do the Black Spindle mission solo on our Titan. Now we did the Warlock first, and then we did the Hunter, and after doing all three characters, I'm thinking Titan came in second easiest, I think the Warlock was by far the easiest, then the Titan, and then the Hunter. Though that's not to say that there are not some difficulties with the Titan, and we'll get to that in just a little bit. So I just jumped into the mission, and obviously whenever you spawn into Destiny in a mission, you have no ammo. So I pop my heavy ammo synth, and right now I'm just showcasing myself running through this battle. I'm showcasing it because I like to show it in the beginning of each of these videos, because people sometimes say they weren't able to get there, and the gate was closed. Well, the gate's closed because you're moving just a little bit too slow. You literally have to run through all the enemies aside from the ones that you absolutely need to fight. And that is the ogre right here. Now, normally what I would do would be shoot pretty much my entire magazine and then swap over to the found verdict, put in a whole clip of found verdict on the ogre, and he would die. Since I just happened to spawn into this and haven't done the mission for a couple weeks though, I totally forgot to start off with the found verdict on. So I have my sniper rifle, a couple shots of a sniper rifle, and then just spinning with my dark drinker. That did the trick. Sniping the ogre, that's not going to put out as much damage as using a shotgun. So just try to keep that in mind. After that battle, what I would normally do is I would typically just swap over from my shotgun over to my sniper rifle for the rest of the battle. At least on my titan and hunter. A sniper rifle is going to be quite useful. And also... A scout rifle is going to be pretty useful as well. You'll want something pretty hard hitting. Now here we're at our first of two doors that we actually need to unlock. And I'm just showcasing it just to show you that I run through here, drop the key in the doorway, and then you can do a couple shots at some of the enemies around here, see if they drop any ammo. You have to wait for the doorway to open up anyway. Whenever it does open, you can book on through. Now what I should have is my sword out right away because I need to deal with those three enemies with a sword jump up here and grab that second key. Now you can grab that key from the ground on any character. It's just a nice little way to grab it, come up towards this middle, and then since I'm on my Titan, I'm popping a bubble. There is no shame in using your super. I've done it on all three of my characters. Pop the bubble, take care of the witch, then of course run underneath here and kill the knight as well. So once we've got this second key, it's pretty easy. We're basically done with any of the difficult struggles that you might have in this beginning and opening area. Once we get up here, we're just going to drop the key and then it is smooth sailing. And since I have a bubble, I don't even have to worry about getting shot from behind. See you guys, we are off. So we run through the next area and remember, we don't grab the key. We don't even go where the mission tells us to go. We're just running straight ahead. This doorway is open as long as you pretty much just book it the entire way through. And this area is nice. It's your only real rest area. So what I like to do here is I like to get my super up. I also like to pop my heavy ammo synth and make sure it's off of cooldown. As far as my weapons, we've got a scout rifle and the X Machina sniper rifle, Dark Trinker, which is absolutely key, and Ruin Wings, which is my key to the Titan if it works. And of course, the memory of Radagast. We'll talk about some of this stuff in a little bit. I just want to showcase also my subclass. I just have a magnetic grenade, nothing crazy about that. Blessing of Light and Unbreakable are definitely key, as is Bastion and Illuminated. All of those things are going to help you survive. So why am I rocking out the Ruin Wings? Well, since I'm on my Defender Titan, I want to use my sword to kill absolutely everything. So I'm hoping that Ruin Wings procs a lot, because then I can use my sword more and more. But if it doesn't proc, which it really didn't proc that much for me, unfortunately then you're in for a little bit of a world of hurt, and you're going to see that here. In fact, we really, really cut it close here. So what I like to do immediately is go after those blights. Three shots from the X Machina, and then one scout rifle shot from the Vision is enough to take it down. Sometimes I'll just use all four shots in my sniper rifle just to go ahead and proc its special ability and make sure I have four shots in my magazine again. And then it's all about swiping with the sword. Now don't worry about popping your super because with the Defender Titan, you get your super up pretty much faster than anything. So I like to pop the bubble as opposed to dying. It's going to work out really well for you. And that's one of the really nice things about the Defender Titan. They have much more survivability than the other classes. 
Blessing of Light, or running around with that, that is really clutch. So I know I have to wait for the door to open up, so I'm just running back here, grabbing a Blessing, and booking it back down. We cleared out this room in roughly a minute. That's a pretty solid pace, maybe a little bit slower than the Stormcaller, of course. Now unfortunately right here, I'm waiting for these guys to come out the door, and they don't. So I get impatient and I just spin. Luckily I was able to go ahead and kill that captain. And now I go over to the other side in just a few more spins. Right now though, I'm looking at my sword ammo and it's at 46. Rune Wings is simply not dropping enough heavy ammo. In this room we have three blights. I'm doing three shots from my sniper rifle into the closest blight and then I put the fourth shot into the furthest away one. I swap over to my scout rifle for one shot into the close one and then I finish off the far one. Now I look down here to see if I could get any sniper shots into that third blight. I could not so I changed my mind and decided to go back to the middle area and I'm going to go in and take care of the witches. You absolutely want to take care of these witches. They'll die to one spin of the Dark Drinker. I also pop my bubble right here because I feel like that's a pretty central area where I can run in and out and gain some Blessing of Light. Here's the second witch. That one goes down and now I want to swipe and kill this final Blight. Unfortunately, I swing whenever I'm just in the air a little bit so I have to use two times my sword ammo. The last witch is right around here. As I see her, I spin and I grabbed a couple of those Shadow Thrall. I needed that blessing. That's why I said I popped the blessing bubble down here because it was a pretty central area. Now if I'm lucky, I'll get a tag on that guy and stick him with my magnetic grenade. Unfortunately because I was getting shot, my reticle bounced a little bit and I did not stick him. So I just want to clear out these enemies on this side and then I'm going to swap over to the sniper rifle and of course it's a taken enemy. So as soon as you start aiming, they pop their bubble and become invincible, wasting precious seconds. Of course taken enemies but you'll also notice I only have three sword ammo again Ruin Wings is simply not dropping heavy ammo for me so that pretty much throws off everything that I want to do I'm having to resort to my primary weapon which I absolutely do not want to do in fact I had a little bit of a dilemma what do I want to do because I know I had to clear out that enemy but I have two more knights down below and I know I don't have a full auto shotgun on so I'm pretty much stuck with using my Vision of Confluence right here. I've got no grenade or anything. It's all about the primary right now. So you can see how Rune Wings can really make or break your run. And you'll see that for sure in just a little bit. Like I said, we really, really cut it close. So I make sure to pop my heavy ammo in. I want to have full heavy ammo and I have absolutely none. So now I've got a full 88 and we're back to clearing out Blight. Again, we can put in three shots. One shot from a scout rifle, and that's going to take that one down. Now we've got our second blight over here, right to the backside of where Drivix is standing, and we're going to clear that out as well. Once we do that, we want to sword and basically get down all of these taken enemies as fast as humanly possible. Again, pop your bubble whenever you get the chance. Don't worry about it because it's just going to help you survive. These stupid, stupid, shielded, taken, cabal type enemies are just making an absolute pain in the butt for me and luckily I was able to get in behind them and now we've got just a bunch of these splitter enemies now I want to see if I can try to get all of them and I think we got them all now we just have the boss what I'm going to do on the boss is I'm going to swing at him five times five swings and that's gonna pretty much bring in the next two waves of blights to take care of so we've got two more waves of blights the first one is right over here. We're taking care of some of the enemies and the blight at the same time. And I desperately want to get back into that bubble. My bubble's gone. My bubble's gone. Okay, so I'm going to back off. And I'm going to try to see if I can find the next blight, wherever that is. Right now, I know that I'm running really low on sword ammo. And I need to take care of these blights. Unfortunately, sword ammo is nowhere to be found right now. I'm looking to see if I can get any shots at that guy. I can't. Reticle Bounce is all over the place for sniper rifles thanks to some of those changes that they did. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, how in the world can you hit anything with a sniper rifle in this area? I can't. Some of you great snipers probably can. I simply cannot. Now this is a great reason why I have Unbreakable on because I'm able to just constantly regenerate that overshield that's helping me to survive and just live until it goes away. Now I'm also looking at my sword ammo right now. 16, 15, 14, 13 sword swings, that is not going to cut it. That is by far not enough sword ammo. Luckily, I know this blight is right to my right hand side, so I pop my bubble, go out the back of it, and then I can take it down. 
I'm really trying to slow play some of these ads because I want to see if any of them will finally drop me some heavy ammo. If any of them will. But I simply can't. I have to go in and just clear these guys out because they're just splitting up too much. My bubble's taking too much damage. There's too much just stuff that's in the way. I really want to clear out that fourth and final blight up there though. And one more shot. Oh my goodness. I need to reload. Two more shots. I'm pretty sure I got it down. I have a feeling I got it down. Of course, I've only got four ammo. Like I said, I'm trying to make the best of it, and none of them dropped heavy ammo. So unfortunately, I know my heavy ammo synth isn't ready to go just yet, and I've got nothing close range. I've got really nothing to take care of enemies aside from this scout rifle, this vision of confluence, and I'm thinking, what in the world do I do? So, first off, we've got to clear out this captain. What in the world am I going to do about clearing out some of these other enemies, though? I have nothing to really deal damage to Drivix though, and that's going to certainly be a problem. I'm going to just regroup, I'm going to try to focus, and clear out as many of these little ad just pain in the butt enemies, and of course, utilizing my melee override to get that shield whenever possible. Every single enemy that splits, I'm grateful for because, finally, we get some heavy ammo. Now this is going to allow me to clear out the rest of the enemies that are down here as quick as possible, especially these captains and these Axiom Bolt just dealing baddies that are an absolute pain in the butt. Clearing out all these enemies with the sword is so much easier than any other method or any other weapon that you actually have. For some reason that guy would not go down, my sword would not target on him, and yet despite clearing all of these enemies, none of them dropped heavy ammo. Now all the enemies aside from Drivix are down though, and I'm just going in and spinning. Right now what I want to do is kill him. I want to kill him. The problem is, look at my sword ammo. I need one more sword swing and I didn't have it. One more swing and I didn't have it. So, instead of just worrying about it, I'm just going to continue on focusing. We've got two more blights. These are absolutely the last two blights in the room. That one is down. We've got one more blight in the arena but I have no sword ammo yet again. Thankfully, we do have our melee override shield up again, and I made a decision. I'm gonna go ahead and swap over to my full auto shotgun as opposed to a sniper rifle after this blight is down. I figure I have no other need for a sniper rifle now that all the blights in the arena are down, and maybe my full auto shotgun can help me to deal with some of these enemies in close while also waiting for sword ammo. So there it is, we get that captain down, and of course, we run through the rest of our shotgun ammo. Basically, RNG is really, really not playing my favor right now. Not at all. We did find a little bit of special ammo. That's not going to be enough to really cut it, as far as what we need to do. I guess we maybe, maybe could have run up in full auto shotgun Drivix, but we've got so many other enemies here that are running around and through. Oh my goodness, there it is. There's the heavy that we absolutely needed, and I ran around this side to get Drivix, and unfortunately, he was just on the other side of the barrier. I jump, and I don't land on the platform, and I die, so I don't get the swing. I get the stupid mid-air swipe, and I die, and right now, in my head, I'm thinking I am absolutely toast. I'm thinking that I'm completely toast, because I wasn't exactly sure where the timer was. I know it was ticking down, though, and we need to clear out Drivix. He just needs one more hit, though. So first off, we're going to clear out some of these enemies so they don't split anymore, and there that goes. Finally, one knight here and a couple other just baddies that are just standing around just throwing nonsense at us, and all we need to do is get up there and go after Drivix. We've got our super up, and he's going to take one spin. 20 seconds left, Drivix is down, all the enemies grouped up underneath him, so now we're in good position. This guy is it. This guy is it, of course. That first guy couldn't be it because he had to split. And there it is. Black Spinner mission completed. Titan done. Titan, Hunter, Warlock. Like I said, Warlock on the Stormcaller definitely was the easiest. We had a ton of time finishing it on the Warlock. Hunter was definitely the most difficult. Having Hungering Blade on my Blade Dancer though, that was a big key. Titan? Titan wasn't that bad. If RNG was just a little bit more in my favor and I got more heavy ammo to drop, this would have been pretty easy because you've got that really nice melee override with a barrier, then you have your blessing bubble, so you've got survivability, and that is absolutely going to be key. If you can just clear out the enemies faster by having more sword ammo, this would be pretty easy for you. So anyway, that was all three characters. This was the Titan today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your black spindle, and I'll see you around in Destiny.
Hashtag ammo RNG. Please.